Ooh, look at this nice, rich, dark brown gravy. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Come on, man. I'll show you what to do. Okay, so you will need onions, okay? You're, I'm using four large yellow onions. You do not, you do not, do not use sweet onions. I don't like to use the white ones either because they tend to be on the sweeter side as well. But the yellow onions, they're absolutely perfect for this dish. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today here in my kitchen. Please take a second and subscribe to the channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your loyal support and to my channel members, Thank you so much for your loyal, faithful support as well. Okay, we need to get these sliced. You can slice them with a knife, you can slice them with a slicer, whatever you want. They don't have to be a certain size. Uh, the thinner they are, the faster they will be able to cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these sliced and then we'll be back. And along with these onions, you will need two or three, depending on the size, two or three cloves of garlic. So I have all my onions sliced up. Now I like to go in and just kind of separate the rings. It's going to make it easier. The first thing we're going to do is caramelize these onions. And caramelization, when you're caramelizing onions, can take quite a while, but I got a little trick I'll show you that'll speed up the process. One of the beautiful things about this particular recipe is that you can caramelize your onions in advance and you can freeze them. That way, when you get ready to make this gravy, your this part, your caramelization part, will already be done because that's what takes the most time. Now, if you garden, don't forget to save the bottoms of your onions. These will be going in my garden so that I can grow some more onions. All you need to do, take them out there, get you a pot and just stick them in the dirt. That's a whole nother conversation. Check out my gardening channel at the Security Cat Gardener on YouTube. Okay, and for the cloves, you don't need to cut those up, just smash them. All you need to do is just take them, take the back of your knife and smash them. And that's good enough. We're not going to put the garlic in until we're good to go on our onions. So a heavy skillet is the best type of skillet to use for this particular recipe. So I am going to use my cast iron skillet. We have a few more ingredients that will be going in here as we make our gravy and I'll get to those as we go along. So now I'm going to take my cutting board and we are going to head to the stove. Okay, so I have my cast iron skillet. It's on medium low heat because caramelization of onions occurs when you cook them low and slow. You will need some oil. I'm using my favorite Strength Genesis macadamia nut oil. You can use olive oil. We're gonna put a couple of tablespoons of oil in the bottom of our skillet. That's all you'll need. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our onions. You can add them all in because they will cook down and that's exactly what you want. Once they start to cook down, I will show you how to speed up the process for cooking all these onions. Now you do not have to have all these onions, but I am cooking quite a bit of gravy. I'm going to freeze some of it. As we are caramelizing these onions, if you want to caramelize quite a few, your actual caramelized onions freeze really, really well. You can freeze them for up to six months. So feel free to do this in advance, especially coming up on the holiday time. So we're gonna just let these start cooking and as they cook down, we'll be back. Okay, so as you all just saw, the color is starting to come in on our caramelization. So to speed up the process, we're gonna use just a tad bit of baking soda. And when I mean a tad bit, a tad bit, because you only need a fourth of a teaspoon for an entire pound. So you just want a pinch of baking soda sprinkled all over. So why does the baking soda help to speed up the process? Because it changes the pH. 
and the amino acids along with the reducing of the sugar causes your onions to brown faster. It will not change the texture, it will not change the taste. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit in here and sprinkle it right over my onions. Just a little bit, this is like a fourth of a teaspoon so you can see how much I have in there. Okay, so just sprinkle it all over and give it a, another stir, making sure it's all well combined. Now, as they continue to caramelize, we're gonna go in with our three cloves of garlic. I'm using three. You can use one, two, or three, depending on your taste. You can also leave it out. At this point, the color is coming in, so you want to start kind of watching them to make sure they don't overly caramelize, but you can caramelize them to your liking. If you want them very light, you can stop at any point. If you want a darker caramelization, just keep on stirring them and paying attention to them at this point until they become the exact color that you want your caramelization to be on your onions. And I like mine just a little bit darker, so I'm gonna keep cooking mine just a little bit longer. Okay, so these have caramelized enough for me. Now leave your stove on and remove your onions from the skillet. See that? Nice and caramelized. That's what we want. Now, we are going to actually deglaze our skillet with some chicken broth you can use chicken broth, beef broth, or vegetable broth, don't want to use any of those, you can just use water. It all works, it all works, okay? I am using chicken broth, so feel free to use water, vegetable broth, or beef broth. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in here and be careful when you pour it in. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn the skillet up and just bring it to a boil for about one or two minutes. We just want to scrape the bottom and get all that good stuff off the bottom. All the bits and things. Okay. All that off the bottom. Okay, after it's boiled for one or two minutes, then you want to grab another pot because this is very hot liquid. So you don't want to put it in anything that may crack. And we're gonna pour this into our pan. So for the chicken broth that you saw me use, I actually used low sodium low sodium bouillon. So I'm not gonna add any more salt because I did use this and it's salty enough. I will be adding some pepper. These are our caramelized onions. This is the broth. I am also going to be using, you can use kitchen bouquet or gravy master. If you don't want to use the kitchen bouquet or gravy master, you can use liquid aminos, okay? So that's your option for using those. So I'm gonna set my blender up, which is right here, get it plugged up and we'll be right back. Okay, one more thing before uh, I get started here. If, for those of who don't know what the uh, Kitchen Bouquet is or the Gravy Master, it's just a browning and seasoning for gravies, any gravies, gravies made with flour or on top of the stove or however, that's what that's for. So we're gonna first add in our onions to our blender. Be careful adding everything in because again, it's hot. As for your liquid, you want to add it in a little bit at a time until it's the thickness and consistency that you want. That's going to be different for everybody. Some people like a really, really thick, rich gravy. Some people like a very thin gravy. So add a little bit in because you can't take it out. Only thing you can do is if you add too much liquid in here and you have more onions already caramelized, you can add more onions in, okay? So I'm just going to add a little bit of the liquid. And you always wanna reserve some as well because just in case you do blend it up, 
and it's now it's too thick you'll have a little bit more to add in there i'm going to add in some black pepper again this is to your taste if you want your gravy if you don't mind your gravy being this color and a lighter color gravy you don't have to use the uh, browning seasoning or the kitchen bouquet. If you want a dark brown gravy, then you'll need to add something to it. So I'm gonna add a little kitchen bouquet in here. And then let me grab a towel and we're gonna blend her up. Okay guys, we are all done with our no flour, no cornstarch, dark brown, rich and thick gravy. Oh my goodness, look at this guys. Oh, so delicious. So, so delicious. Oh my goodness, let me set this aside. And y'all know we got to have a taste test. But before we go there, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today while we make this delicious, flourless, cornstarchless, <laughs> amazing, thick and rich brown gravy. Please take a second and subscribe to the channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming yet once again to Help me out in my kitchen. And for my channel members, thank you so much for your loyal, faithful support. Love all you guys. Okay, pour some on our mashed potatoes. Yes, look at this guys. Look, look. Yes, that is amazing. Look, oh my goodness. Delicious, delicious. You can smell it. Ha! Oh, the aroma. Mm, mm, mm. Now, let me tell you something. If you don't like onions or can't tolerate any onions at all, I am sorry, but I can't help you. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, one other thing I wanna say before I do my taste test. So, why does this work? Why does this work with no flour? It works because onions have a natural gelatin in them. And once cooked and heated and cooked down and caramelized, that gelatin is released and it thickens up. And so this is why we're able to make gravy with just onions. It's really one ingredient because you can use water and water is typically not even an ingredient. So you can just use the onions, caramelize them, blend them up with some water and you are good to go. You don't have to add the garlic in there and you don't have to add the chicken, beef or uh, vegetable broth. But at any rate, without further ado, Mmm, 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 mmm. It is so rich and so creamy. Ooh, this would be amazing over some biscuits. Homemade biscuits? Yes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And I will see you all next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Bye bye.